What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5. In the last part we dealt with a whole lot of, of crashes and we might run into them again. I don't really know what is causing this, but it's it's been happening mostly since the weather outside got just extremely hot. Uh, and I have a very shitty room with very bad um, air circulation. I've got like two small windows. Um, so that may be part of the problem. I'm not really sure yet, but if it crashes again, then I'll probably start looking for more, um, problems or, or more solutions to this problem. But for now, um, we're back. I'm just gonna start this again. I, I tried to recreate what happened, um, as, as best as I could. Why would I ever do that? No. Um, so gameplay-wise, we're actually doing pretty okay. Um, the, lap, the last part was kind of a mess. That was part 15. Because I was recording for 10 minutes and the game crashed. And then I recorded for another 5 minutes and the game crashed again. Um, so I don't know, my PC has, had been on very long that day as well. Because um, I was at my PC most of the day and then when I left, I left it on to render some videos. Um, so maybe I should have given it like a little, a little time off, so to speak. A little vacation for itself of a couple of hours. Um, maybe that's kind of my bad. I don't know, but I just turn it on again and I turn on save and I let it play for like 10 minutes or something and it, it worked fine So I have no idea Also, I checked the uh, the temperature and it does not overheat at all like the, the hottest it ever gets when playing and recording is like 50 degrees which is you know, it's a, a little bit higher than you would normally want to I guess but it's not that high that it should crash or uh, do anything like that Ooh, archaeology, okay. Oh, come on, really? I want a shield. Okay, let's see, we're... Can we get a museum really quick? Can we just not pick anything for now? Can we just, can we just get rid of this? Oh, come on. Yeah, I guess we don't really have a choice then, let's just make that... Stupid landmark. Well, it does give me four culture, which is nice, but... Uh, whatever, you know, that's just the way it is, I guess. And then we're also working on getting another great engineer. Uh, I get a penalty from the World Congress because we got a bonus for writers and stuff like that. So maybe we should, uh, get rid of, um, of these two and put them into the Writers Guild. There we go. And that should boost the production of a great writer by a whole lot. Uh, cause we're trying to, you know, go for tourism here, that's exactly kind of what we need. Default focus... Will it still grow? Yeah, it will still grow. It's, it's gonna take a while, but that's fine. Uh, then we got a great artist. And I do believe we have a spot-free, um, nowhere. All the great art slots have been filled, so we need a museum somewhere. Which we're building in Braga, so let's get this guy over there. And then we'll just make a great work of art over there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. I, I could potentially send him to another sieve and um, like spread the word and then that will get me a, a you know a nice amount of tourism uh, But for now I prefer the passive effect of just having a whole bunch of um a whole bunch of uh, what, what I great works of art and stuff like that There goes my now Holy hell a hand axe and a gallius Metallurgy has been stolen by England, but England is Nobody cares about them anymore. Um, does any of this give tourism? Guess not. It's mostly culture. Uh, there's patronage, which is city state uh, stuff like that. Production, happiness. That's good. That I don't really care about that. That's pretty good. That's pretty great, actually. Rationalism will grant plus ten science. I mean, that's a, a pretty nice one. I think I'm gonna go with this one um, because if the if the the cultural is not, you know, if I can't actually get that, then going for science might be the better choice. So, rationalism for a nice boost to my science. That always works. And, um... York. What can York do? Make me a wall? I mean, a forge? Get this, a little bit of extra production. And let's get an opera house in Lisbon and start working towards the museum. Uh, because we really need it. And let's get this stupid boat out of here. Before he gets himself killed. Uh, go to Braga. In two more turns, uh, we can we can make a great work of art. We can also get get a um, a golden age, but I don't really care enough to, to do that because I'm already making loads of money. Why would I need a golden age? I don't. I do not. Copper for cotton. Yeah, that works for me because I got extra anyway. So why not just trade it like that? 
Look at London. Holy hell, it's growing really nicely. Porcelain Tower, Carthage and Vatican City are friends. That's great, I guess. Whatever. Let's just check this out. I want to see if there's a, a British city hiding in the... I guess not. I don't see anything yet. One more turn. You just sit there and just do your job. Choose archaeology. And again. We have no slot available. Man, this sucks. Why did I use it already then? I'm, I'm stupid. Let's get that going then. Landmark. Because why not? Hopefully I'll be able to swap some nice great works. With other people. Uh, because that would be really helpful. Industrialization is almost done. Oh man, there you go. Paul, it's still navigation. Are you kidding me, dude? What the f Stop stealing my stuff. Like, that is not okay. We have a source of coal. We got on the citadel, so we stole the coal and the iron and the gems. There's three coal over there. And then we got seven coal over there, so we should have ten coal soon. Um, except there's a there's a farm here, so we do need to make a, uh, a mine to get to the coal. Uh, scientific theory will be next, and um, let's see. A great sci. Ooh, this one's actually kind of okay, even though I don't really have any research agreements, nor will I ever have any. Um, well, he's friendly, but still, I don't really have any actual friends. Do you want to be friends? He does not. Okay. Uh, let's tell Casimir. Hey, dude, stop spying on me. Whoa, he's... Okay, so he doesn't like me enough to say no. Stop spying on me. Stop sending missionaries. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, so much for that. Uh, let's just make a factory. Good for good for production, and make a great work of art. Ooh. I have never seen this before, but this woman kind of looks like a man. Um, well, let's see. That's a Portugal ancient era painting. Wait, no, that's beads. That doesn't make sense. Um, Portugal industrial era. Don't have any other Portugal industrial era stuff. Well, that kind of sucks. Are you kidding me? Beads, beads. I can put that over there. That's not bad, is it? I guess I can I can put that over there. Um. See me, England medieval, England Renaissance. Oh, that's a oh that's a theming bonus right there. I did not know that. Look at me go. Portugal Renaissance. Let's put that over there. That actually makes for a pretty nice boost, because this boosts tourism by two. If I put it over there, it boosts it by two. If I put it over there, it boosts it by three. In my M5 theater. So I guess that's a, a good choice right there for whatever reason, but it works for me. Theming bonus. I'm actually going to save the game right now. There we go. Just in case the recording crashes and then I don't have to, to play through all this again. Uh, next turn. Someone actually um, had the same errors that I keep having. And, um, he said that it had something to do with a steam cloud. Which actually makes sense, because all of my- Oh, oh my god, that's a lot of peace trees that have expired. Um, because all of my- my save games are in, in the steam cloud, so it could be that that is, for some reason, a problem. You know, I don't know. That's the thing. So it, it is, you know, maybe that's an option, I don't really know. Um, let's see, museum, lighthouse, sure, let's get a lighthouse going. Uh, can we make peace with this guy? Oh, I need six more. Okay, six more turns. Um, because Ezra Benapal actually said, Hey, let's declare war on Greece. And I said, Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. Because I don't care about Greece anyway. Oh, he's taking Argos. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. My bad. If only I had some more cannons set up over there. I could just start war on this thing. I mean, he would take Argos, but would it really be worth it? Still has a lot of puppets around there, so I guess taking those, those, uh, or that one city that's, like, up here is really gonna be the only problem, because the rest of them are just puppets, so it should be, should be fine, I, I think. Uh, York can make me a factory, and Porto can make me a museum for that, you know, great work of art that we really want to stash away when we finally get it. What is that great merchant doing? Adam Smith. What the hell? Okay. 
So we've basically explored the entire world. All that's left is basically this little thing. And I don't see England having a city down there. Or somewhere up there. And that doesn't seem logical at all to me. So I don't really know what the hell she did. It's, uh, it's a little confusing. Lisbon make a uh, museum or a factory. I kind of want to start with a factory to just up the production there. Because that's always a good thing to do. And let the hell, uh, let's just get this boat out of here. Let's start explore. What the hell? You can go down there. Never seen that before. It's probably just going to be a dead end, though. It pretty much has to be, because I've never seen anything down there. England has denounced Assyria. Alexander still has a few points, so he must have a unit or two stashed away. I did just see that. Now that I now that I think about it, I did just see the. Um, the British, the British great merchant, so maybe that's where they get their points from. I'm just saying, if I wanted to eliminate them, I could do that. Their allies. I could just give them a whole bunch of gold and become their friend instead. I would like that very much. Uh, biology will reveal oil. Hospitals. Let's take a look at the tree again. Uh, I like ver fertilizer because it gives lots of food and it leads to artillery, which is great. So let's start with um, fertilizer. And then after, we'll do uh, Military Science. Which will give me uh, Cavalry, I believe. What is up with all the points that Ashurbanipal has? I guess he just has a whole lot of, uh, of land mass. He has more cities than me. Because <clears throat> I got, like, seven cities. Uh, pearls, that's not gonna happen, I think. Holy, what the hell? Are you kidding me? That's where an antiquity site is? Okay. Let's go plunder it. Get, let's get over there. We're gonna take all that stuff. Why is there an antiquity site there? That's kind of weird. I, gu I guess it's not always the, the place of some great battle. Can you imagine making a city on one of those tiles? Man. I could actually see England doing something unexpected like that to survive. But I don't know. Something tells me she does have another city somewhere. Because she has too many points. Are you kidding me? Who did this? Hong Kong. Come on, man. That's so unnecessary. Uh, London, make me a um, Gatling gun. Ooh, we can, have, we can make those now. Uh, let's go with the public school. Get extra signs over there. And uh, we can start upgrading the crossbowmen now to Gatling guns. Even though it's, it's pretty expensive, but it is a nice upgrade. So let's give it to that guy. Uh, go archaeologist. Go get me that beautiful antiquity thing, whatever it was. Uh, next turn. Clearing a forest, so my workers are just de destroying forests somewhere. For whatever reason. Uh, okay. That's uh, good to know. Jerusalem, uh, I don't even know where they're located, so that's really not a problem for me. What the hell? So with all the random cracks in the ice. It's gonna be a bitch to find England if they're hiding in one of those weird places. Um, we have any jungle? Oh, we do have some jungle. Look at that. We have two jungle tiles. Three. We have three jungle tiles. And maybe we'll get that one. I hope we will. Okay, let's go with university, which will also give us extra science for jungle tiles. Wait, what? University allows archaeologists to be built in this city. Oh, so you need to have a university before you can do that. That's interesting. I did not know that before. Because I had universities practically everywhere in except for my... Um, yeah, okay. That works for me. Malista. Yeah, that, no, that worked cool. We're cool. I forgive you for your transgressions. Uh, they're shooting a Greek boat. Okay, that's... Okay, yeah, that's happening. Ooh, Florence got three coal, gems, cotton. They've got a really good city over there, wheat. That's, uh... I, w I should maybe take that. Cargo ship. Let's get that going. Let's just get to the, to the South Pole. I want to get that antiquity. Now I really want to see what it is. Let's go over there. We're gonna... What the hell is that? Exotic cargo. I didn't get to actually read what it did. But I would very much like to know. Oh no, they're antiquity site. Look at that. Greek boat is dead. That's good for me, because they were annoying. Peace to you with Alexander's expired. That... What? 
That was fast. Are you kidding me? Okay, a bunch of stuff goes down that I do not really care about. Let's see. Exotic cargo. May sell exotic goods when adjacent to a foreign tile to gain gold experience. Based on distance from capital, but only once. Let's see, we should get this boat to, like, Sydney. Or, uh, Samarkand and just sell there. We might actually get a whole lot of money from that, which would be great. Uh, okay, great scientist, earn faster, plus two signs from every specialist. Boom, that's another nice boost. You know, all in all, they're, like, pretty small boosts, but if you stack them all on top of each other, that makes a giant difference towards science. So, I do like that. Sure, Brandon Paul's made peace. Um, sure, of course. There's no reason for him not to make peace. Great writer's been made. That's good, because I would love to make another great work of writing. Anton Chekhov. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but whatever. Why do I hear a note of sadness that rings my heart in this cry of a pure soul? If at any time you should have need of my life, come and take it. I've never heard that before. I do believe I have I heard of Chekhov's gun. Or whatever rifle. And I think it's Chekhov's gun. Or basically, if in a play a gun is is introduced, or like hanging on a wall, you know something is gonna happen with that gun. That's kind of the the, the whole point to that. Um let's just trade with the Ragusad, some sweet ass money. Uh cargo ship trade with um Samarkand, Vatican City. I would get the most money from trading with, with uh, Dido. Let's give our, uh, yes, let's spread our religion extra to that Assyrian city. That works for me. Workboat. They're saying go with Lighthouse, so Lighthouse it is, I guess. Lisbon can really benefit from a um, public school because you get plus one signs for every two citizens. So that's another nine, plus the three you already get, so that's 12 signs per turn. I mean, that is huge, actually. Oh, man. I think we might actually win the tourism game. I hope we do. And if we don't, we still have a shot at winning either a diplomatic victory or a... Um, oh, no, I don't mean diplomatic. I mean a murder victory. Oh, Ashurbanipal's army has been reduced to one-fourth of mine. That's good for me, though. That's really good for me. Another antiquity site. So I might actually have to take his city very soon. As soon as um, as this antiquity site is made, and I've made a few more cannons, I think I'm ready to start this war. Because uh, I really want to destroy him, really. That's the only reason. Um, let's give, give me a, um, a cannon. Should help in taking that city before it grows too strong. Like so. But we have a lot of units, so I think that potentially we should be able to do a lot of damage to them. So what I want to do is I actually want to start... Oh no, my archaeologist. No! Come on, man. I need that archaeologist. Are you kidding me? A privateer? Great engineer's been born. Get away from him. Just, just run away. Uh, we got a great engineer now, which I really don't have any use for at this point. Yeah, that's a pasture. Uh, that's another pasture. Farm. Farm. What I could do is... Uh, let's see. I was not very happy about... Wait, wasn't there a city that had pretty stupid production? Let's see. That's got 21. 33. Holy shit, that's good. 13. 59. 27. 56. So I guess London could do with a little bit extra... Um, Production. Look at that quarry, though. That, that's nice. Um, let's go onto this this little farm and just plop down this nice manufactory. That should help out a lot. Okay, so I guess I don't actually have those goods anymore. I thought, you know, maybe it actually uses up the upgrade uh, when you're done with it, like when you use it, but it, it's, it's still there. It just doesn't work anymore. Electricity. Oil, an additional trade route, I like that. Construct a well, oil. Hospitals are great as well. Stock exchange. Give science. Uh, okay, Mil military science. I want to really want to get to the artillery. And I think as soon as we have artillery, like that t exact turn, we need to start upgrading everything and declare war on Assyria because he will still have cannons. 
and he's going to be outclassed by all the uh, the artillery that I will have. So that's sort of the plan I'm going for here. I think the cavalry will uh, replace my lancers, which is also quite good. A brave new world. The time has come to choose a new path for your people and your empire. Each ideology, freedom order, and autocracy contains a unique set of increasingly powerful tenets that will form the foundation of your ideology and influence your di diplomatic relationships for years to come. So this is going to be like the new thing. I can pick order, uh, freedom, and autocracy. And uh, let's see, so that we can actually take a look at everything. This is, uh, we're taking a look at uh, autocracy right now, I think. Right, autocracy? Uh, that's it. Um, so you get, you know, gold cost of purchasing units reduced. It's a lot of military stuff from the looks of it. Plus 100 tourism with all known cities when a great writer, artist, or musician is born. I do like that, actually. Spy steel technology is faster. Extra happiness from castles and wonders. Uh, okay, so that's a lot of happiness and, and a little bit of tourism as well. Then we got freedom. Extra tourism generated by cities with a broadcast tower. Um, plus one culture from each great work. That's not bad. Um, volunteer army. Six units are maintenance free. Receive six foreign legion infantry units immediately. That's That sounds good. Combat strength of your cities is increased, but not too many things that I really like. Um, plus 34% uh, tourism to civilizations that have less happiness. And there's... Um, to other order civilizations. I, I want to go with autocracy here. I don't really know if I, if I pick the right thing, but hey, I'm just gonna, gonna do it. I can add one tenant. I don't really know how this works yet, but we're gonna find out. You get two for free. Plus 100 tourism, yes. Um, spies steal faster, don't really care about that. Gold cost of purchasing units is reduced. Wounded military units inflict 25 more damage uh, than normal. Uh, local happiness from every national wonder. I don't know what a national wonder is, so... Oh, that's... Yeah, I guess I do know what that is. Castle, arsenal, military base. I actually like the one for purchasing units. I think that could really help me out, so let's go with that. Click to add tenant. So you need a lot of culture, so it is... I think you can pick between maybe a tenant and a uh, social policy. I don't really know. I guess we'll find out about that. Uh, in York, let's make a bank. Unit needs orders. Go over there. You stupid archaeologist. This boat, uh, just, uh, have him go north. I want to see what the hell is up there. Wait, no, that's a, a dead end if we go over there. Uh, we got another caravan that still needs to do something. London. Let's just, I want to make a little bit of money here. Let's send him to Athens. That will spread my religion as well. Which is exactly what I want. I'm still number three in religion, but whatever. It's the world religion, guys. You've got to follow it. That will give me 20 gold. Let's just go with that. Screw the the Islam that it will uh, give me. I'm fine with that. Because I already have a lot of followers for my own religion. Um, so I'm actually going to end the video here. It ran extremely well for the entire running. I'm really happy about that. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And in the next part, we will get this dig going and hopefully upgrade to uh, artillery and start a war with the Assyrians. So it should be exciting. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.